recovered and had long addictions. Do you think she's got a real problem or is she just a kid acting out? Well, I, I, I must say, I, I don't think it's so much about the individual. I think it's what she represents. I think that we're looking at a trend in this country, that we have young Hollywood, we have young New York, we have young Kansas City, we have young Miami. This is a crisis in America. Okay? Ken, Ken, why do you think promises didn't work? Um, I just believe that she didn't hit a bottom. You know, I believe that she, you know, to hit a bottom, you have to either something spiritual, physically, emotionally, you know, something has to hit, you know, and what I'm so happy about right now, she's going to hit a legal bottom. I say put her in jail for a little bit of time, not a long, but give her some time to see what it feels like in jail and then let her out and put her in drug court. Does, does jail make you see the light? I think that when you lose your freedom, mm -hmm. uh, it, it definitely can shake you into what's called that bottom that they're talking about. But you know, w what's more important is is to look at the, the question you asked earlier, which is, here's a young woman who's a pretty smart girl, who's driving a car at high speed, knowing her license is suspended, knowing that she's holding narcotics in her possession. So she's making choices that are really, really bad based on the fact that she's probably high and that she is an addict. So we need to reach out to this girl, we need to help this girl, but she needs to help herself some. And, and, and more importantly, and, and the the last thing is, and I said it on the last show, you have to get into some kind of a sober living transitional program. You can't be in that coddled little little nest, you know, that they have in rehab, and then expect yourself to just be able to walk out the door. Some transitional thing, like I said before, at clubsoba.com, you know, you, you go into this thing and it'll tell you where it is that you can go, different places you can go, and a place that you'll have an assistant that's with you, they'll monitor you drug-wise, they'll represent you in court, but she absolutely, after she gets out of a long stay, needs to go into some sober living situation. Okay, Mr. Robinson, we want to thank you very much for joining us. When we come back, a clip of Lindsay Lohan first in the film A Prairie Home Companion, and we will talk more with our panel about the future of Lindsay Lohan. You're watching Larry King Live.